downpour where content reigns. Oh, hi. I'm Rachel Feinstein. Sometimes when my friends call me for help with their problems, I like to refer to the movies rather than give them my careful attention. Just like the other day, my friend Kathy called about her painful divorce, and I said, hey, Kath, snap out of it. I mean, we're not in Kansas anymore. Am I right? And then we both felt so much better. So that got me to thinking, maybe I can make a web series where I take people's problems and I use movies to help them solve them. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel Feinstein. This is my guest, Mike Vecchio. Mm. Looks like he'd hit you, but he won't. Mm -mm. That's what I like about him. We're talking about relationships and the movies and problems, and we're bringing them all together, and we're relating things and just getting sassy here on this show here. It's called Real Advice. Mm. Let's introduce our therapist, the apple of my eye, my eye's apple, Huh? Frank. What a lovely man, right? Frank is Mike. a beautiful man. Mm. Um, Mike, what what's going on in your love life? I know that you tr date um, a tremendous amount of whores. I do. I do. And uh, to be honest, Rach, it's nothing like the movies. The girls I date are as dumb as the day is long. <clears throat> I don't know. I like uh, women who wear fishnets. Mm-hmm. Uh, because that's a great sign. It says, look, I'm a whore, uh, but if necessary, I will catch my own food. And, uh, so you haven't been having the biggest luck because you've been dating a lot of these whores. It's hard, you know? I mean, I also um, used to have a lot of trouble in my love life. I was dating an older guy for a while. I didn't even really notice the age difference until he started bathing me in the sink. Um, <laughs> um, it, it hasn't been easy for you, has it? No, it hasn't. So what we have here is a man with some problems. Mm. What we're going to bridge that towards is a movie with some problems in it. What is your gut uh, therapist reaction right now to Mike um, and these uh, these godless whores that he's been dating? Do you think about Mike and his choices? I think when you seek out or prioritize looks over substance, right. sometimes it can be left a lot less down the road. Well, I find these girls, Rach, and they're a little hoary, but I like them. I like their style. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to kind of um, wash them clean sure. of that hoariness, you know, to make them a lady. And I want a good girl. So I want you to help me, uh, give me some advice on how to make that transformation, how to help the girl transform from a godless whore uh, to a <laughs> Christian, uh, you know, eyepiece. Let me tell you, it's not easy. You can't just rinse a whore down and put her in a pantsuit. Believe me, I've tried. We are going to help you. Uh, we're going to use the film Pretty Woman to talk about Mike and his problems with these loose women that he'd like to uh, just rinse down and, and bring home to meet his parents. Okay, we actually have somebody that's here from the 40s, a 1940s actress that's mm. come here through a time machine. And she's going to read with you. Uh, we're going to do a scene from Pretty Woman, so you get your sweet ass over there, you get a script from her, and you come back and show me how it's done. Well, hey there, sir. Would you like to have some fun tonight? You look pretty clean for a skank. Oh, thanks. That's a real nice Porsche. Do you like it? How much for the week? Oh, you don't have that kind of dough. Not to get your mitts on this puss for a full week. It's used to hopping around. I'm going to give you a boatload of money. I want you to go out. I want you to spend it. Oh. Which I want you to look indignant. Oh, I, I want people to see that you got a heart of gold. Yes, I sure do. I'm going to go into stores that are real fancy-like and ask for all sorts of stuff. I'm going to say, what's your classiest thing in this joint? That's what I want. I want a frock that'll really dazzle you. You know, like a real lady's frock and a pantsuit. Why? Because i got to scrub that whore off me. I don't want a piece of that whore debris left. It doesn't matter what people think about me. No, my boss, sure it doesn't. my business associates, because mm -hmm. I know you're a good person. I am. I'm not just a skank. I'm a classy skank. You need affection. I like it. You need lots of hugs. No, I want to be cuddled with. Because deep down inside, you're a good person. Mm. <laughs> and I'm going to give you that chance. Oh, okay. All you... right, let's get out of here. Want to get married? Let's get married. Okay. <laughs> what a life we'll have together. So do you feel a little bit better about going back to your mom now? The, how, do you, how do you feel? Tell the truth. I feel like I could clean her up. I mean, a pantsuit is a good first step. Um, <clears throat> I've learned that there are a lot of steps in turning into turning a whore into a lady. One is having a Porsche. That's true. Uh, that helps. And then maybe a whirlpool full of holy water. That's good, that's good. I think you're dealing with issues of self-acceptance and shame for the type of the woman that you like, you know? And if you bring her home, it threatens the 
idealized version you have in your mother's eyes. But Doc, what do you uh, what do you prescribe? Like uh, huffing keyboard cleaner and autoerotic asphyxiation? Because I already do those things. But the point is. Everyone here has learned a lesson, mm -hmm. and it's real advice. We use our moments and then our problems. Everything's okay now. I love you. Come on.